Hello friends, welcome to the service now word and today we'll discuss how to add placeholder in string type field in service now. So before we need to implement placeholder, firstly we need to understand what is placeholder, right? So place of the placeholder attribute specifies a short hint that describes the expected value of input field. The short hint is displayed in that input field before the user's enter value so place holds some things like that like uh, when we seeing any text box right in a form and we are seeing like uh, we some let, let's say one text box is there where we need to enter the name so in text box we are seeing like some message like enter your name and when we are going to enter the name the the text will be vanish out so whatever the text we are seeing that is enter your name in the text box that is called placeholder so for implementing this we will take one use case today and use case is put placeholder text in short description and description field in incident form so let's go to the incident form and try to implement it right so yes so here we'll open incident right And let's open this incident. So we'll open a new incident form. Like here, we already one text is there, so that's why we can't demonstrate the placeholder. So we'll open new incident form. Incident dot two. Yes. So here like here we have to put some placeholder text. See this field is completely empty, right? Short description and description. So there we need to put the placeholder text. So what we'll do for uh, putting placeholder, we'll write one client script. So I'll just open one duplicate tab and uh, there I'll write on load client script. Okay. So I just search client script under system definition, click on client script then we have to click on new yes so now here we'll give the name placeholder populate and select our table that is incident right from here we'll select the type on load and there we'll get the disk we will create one variable that is let's say short disk or like short underscore dsc right g then we'll call the function g underscore form dot get control what get control is doing like it will return the html element of that particular field which we are which will give under this function so we'll give short underscore description right and after this we'll write sort underscore dsc dot placeholder equal to and what placeholder text we need to give so let's say we'll give a uh, give your sort description here Okay, like that for description also, we will create one more variable DSC and say we'll do for the description G underscore form dot get control and here we'll give the field name that is description and we'll write G DSC dot placeholder equal to please explain in detail like that will give placeholder text and we'll just save it okay
so now you see that like we have created a client script and here we have used the g uh, g underscore form dot git control function which will return the html element of that particular field and then we perform some stable operation right so we have written this client script now it's time to test it so in this tab as, I, as you know like we have already opened a incident form new incident form so i'm just reloading this form and Currently, if you see the sort description is in sort description, no placeholder text is there. In description also, no placeholder text is there, right? So let's refresh it and check whether placeholder text is populating or not. And now you see that now placeholder text is populating in short description. Give your short description here and description will seeing the placeholder text please explain in detail and we'll click on this and we'll write something like test and if you see it got vanish out right so like that we have to put placeholder text in different, different forms now the thing is that uh, there is one catch is there like this client script which i have written this will not work in a service portal so in that case what we need to do so in that case like if we don't uh, there one out of the box uh, functionality is there that is example text uh, example text so we'll use that and there we can put the placeholder text how we'll see that let's firstly open service portal right and there also i'll take one catalog item So let's say I'm taking the standard laptop, right? And I'm also opening standard laptop here. Mm, not here, we'll just from request something. And there we'll search standard laptop I will just open this okay So if you see like currently in additional software requirement no placeholder text is coming right so what we'll do we'll put placeholder text in this field right so for that what we need to do we'll come to our uh, maintain item we have to search the catalog item the standard laptop we'll go to the variables in variables this one multi-line text is there right we just click on that And if you see here one example text option is there right so here what we'll do here will uh, whatever the uh, whatever the example text will give it here that will come in this field in this text box as a placeholder text so i'll just give i think it's still loading yeah just wait for the load first then we'll give the text yes so there will give like please provide your additional software requirements here and we'll just update it okay once we update the example text we will come to a service portal and now you see that previously like uh, there is no placeholder text is there right and let's refresh the form and check it again it's coming or not now you'll see it's coming right please provide your additional software uh, software requirements here so in the case of service catalog or service portal out of the box functionality already there 
but in native ui there is no out of the box functionality is there so that's why we have written one client script uh, there we have used the G, uh, get control method get control method basically returns as a html element for that particular field and then we can perform the html operation on that so i hope you understand and if you have any feedback just write in the comment box thanks for listening god bless you all